Hey everybody, this is Jim Neve from Jim Neve Woodworks again. Uh, today I want to do a quick video on, on a laser project that I did with my daughter. Uh, we just took a regular uh, album, an, an LP uh, vinyl record, uh, and cut some pictures on it for a wedding gift um, that she wanted to make. Um, the idea came from a project she made for me quite a few years ago where she scroll sawed out a picture. I'll show that next. Um, so this maybe gives you some ideas for some things you can do with your laser. I use a 15 watt blue laser for this, but this should also work fine with a CO2 laser. So this is the original project that gave us the idea um, to try this with the laser. Um, this was a, a record album of ACDC uh, where she took, uh, my daughter took a scroll saw and cut a picture of Angus Young, the lead guitarist, playing guitar um, into the record. Um, and then you put the um, album cover next to it um, and the inside jacket behind the record, and you can see a nice picture on it. And it's nicely framed. You see quite a few people make these um, out of albums, and usually it's a you know music theme, um, a picture of the band. Her idea this time was to um, make a wedding announcement and put the pictures of the two people getting married on the record. So it was a little bit different. And uh, this on the scroll saw took her several hours of cutting time on the scroll saw. And I knew it would cut an album my laser, on the laser pretty well. So she designed the new uh, project um, in paint or something like that. And then we brought it into Vectric V-Carve and touched it up. Um, to make the tool and made the tool paths for the laser. So this is the design um, as it's shown in VCarve Pro. Um, she brought it to me as uh, just a GIF or something. Uh, she had designed it in some in paint program or something like that. Uh, and then we just simply, you know, added the proper inside and outside circle size for the record and the record label, and then just made the adjustments on the pictures. Um, and one thing to note with this is, if you look closely, there's um, cutouts in, in these, because uh, we want to be able to keep the inside of letters intact in this and not have them fall out. For example, uh, when we got cutting on this on the prototype, we realized this D, the center cutout of this D, was not attached at all to the body like say the circle cut out for this O is. So when we cut this D out obviously that piece fell out and you know it didn't look like a very good D. So I'll show um, what we do with that. Okay now you can see the bottom of this D. I've basically cut a channel out through the bottom so this way it still looks like a D pretty much but that center piece will be retained and normally that would be pretty hard to cut out with a scroll saw and not have it bend all over the place get deformed but with the laser this works really well because it doesn't really you know disturb anything mechanically since it's cutting with with light and just burning it away so this kind of detail works uh, works very well with the laser so now we can go over and uh, I could I could run the tool path and show what it looks like. Uh, I'll just do that anyway. So um, Vectric has added this uh, optional laser module, um, starting with uh, version 10.5. You can get it on uh, VCarve or Aspire. Um, it's about 50 bucks, and I'd say it's well worth it. Uh, it lets you pick your laser tool. Um, separate from other tools like routing tools. So in this case, uh, I picked the laser uh, cut and fill. Um, I have my laser power set to 100%. Um, I'm actually going to set this. It cuts fine on my 15 watt laser at 30 inches per minute. And that's basically it. You calculate the tool path and preview this and and that's what it looks like on the toolpath preview
So before we um, show some of the cutting and design work, I want to say something about safety on this. Um, we're going to be cutting a vinyl record here, and vinyl is a pretty hazardous material to cut with a laser in the future. You don't handle the safety conditions right. Um, this is my uh, honeycomb table after I did this project that you're about to see the cutting on. And you can see it left some pretty heavy staining on here. And some of the outgassing from that cutting of vinyl is chlorine gas, which can be highly corrosive when combined with water. So if you have moisture in there, if you live in a really humid or damp environment, this vinyl record could be, um, it's, it's hazardous to your health. Breathing chlorine gas is not good for your lungs, especially. Combines with water and makes hydrochloric acid in your lungs. Obviously that's not good if anybody's ever breathed in the dust from a chlorine tablet, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but it can also be corrosive to your tools. Um, you know, the honeycomb table that can get into optics and run your laser optics. So I, have, I just put out a, a, a safety video on the hazards of, of cutting with the laser. And in there's some um, information, up, uh, links on the web to get some more information for the specific materials. In this case, it's vinyl. and and the primary uh, issue is the kind of caustic smoke and, and uh, chlorine gas that comes off of that. So I just wanted to point that out. Uh, go check out that video, do some research, go to the web link on that that I give you and, and take a look at that and, and kind of decide if um, you should do this project or not. I mean, it's, it's a cool project, but I want everybody to be safe. And if you don't have the right laser set up and the right ventilation, please don't do it. Um, make sure you make sure you take the right safety precautions first. Okay, after cutting, we're taking the record out and all the pieces fall out pretty cleanly. And this is the final product. So this is a wedding sign, but you can pretty much cut any pattern into a record very easily. These were run at around 30 inches per minute at 100% power, uh, and it cuts very cleanly in one pass. 